What's up, Desert Runners? How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. I'm Beard Zerker, and welcome back to Star Sand. Uh, last episode, we got the last artifact to go inside the temple and unlock the secret door, whatever's inside there, to get the last artifact inside, and also our cedar suit. So we're gonna be going over there first thing today. Um, I've had more issues than not with my camel being untamed. Just <laughs> I completely lost Jorge. I didn't even see it happen. I thought this was him, went out there and tamed him and it wasn't him. So I lost my saddlebag and my uh, my sunshade and all that crap. I'll deal with that later on. I really don't want to put put around with that right now. So I'm just going to get on out there, probably uh, go to the temple, go to, uh, oop, I'm not good on you. Go to the temple, get our cedar suit, and then head up to the northwest area and try to get the trap. I really can't walk across there. And get the trap for these uh, freaking worm jerks. So we'll be doing that. They did add two new updates to the last time I played. One is the uh, the beetles with the sand screw. I guess they're just collectibles or something. Something like that, which seems pretty interesting. Change it up a little bit. A bunch of new building materials. Or not materials, rather, but blueprints or whatever. So a lot more options that we can do with, uh, with building and stuff like that. So pretty excited to see. Uh, they did add in the sandboard, which is a discoverable blueprint as well, so I'll have to find that one. And uh, June, July, I think they're trying to get out the new area along with the new enemy and all this other fun stuff. So pretty excited to see where this game goes. Hopefully we're able to go through that, uh, through that big door over there, wherever it is by the Hemp Temple. So I'm assuming we go through there to a new area. Completely unexplored terrain, so really, really excited to see where it goes. But uh, almost here now, I think I am getting attacked today, so it's something to keep an eye out for. But I don't really see it being an issue, so hopefully we don't get more than a couple, we should be fine. But really have no idea where this stuff's at, so we're just going to go do what we can do this morning, and uh, go from there. So, it is bright and early, I got plenty of uh, fruit salad with me, so it should hold me over the rest of the day. Why can I not move? Was that a stamina, maybe? I don't know. Very strange. Still loving the auto run. Uh, that was a game changer when they put it in, so... Absolutely amazing. I was gonna make the metal pick and axe and... Sword and all that stuff where I took off and I completely forgot, so we'll, we'll, we'll have to do that once I get back there. But we should be okay for now. I am gonna be building back at a... At the pretty much the same spot where I, I built last season, because it's... It's just so nice over there. You got everything but the desert fruits. So I'll I'll make do with the crocodiles. I've got plenty of plenty of crocodiles there for so they can get their fat and meat and all that stuff. So it is day eight. I've been trying to get the achievement for eating fruits or whatever, surviving vegetarian for seven days and I haven't gotten it yet. I don't think I've eaten any meat. So I don't know what's going on there. Hindsight I probably could have made a trough at that little base there. It's only six planks and save myself the aggravation of losing my friggin camel. I don't know how many times that is a season 3 maybe. Something like that. Uh, apparently you can light the brazers as well. Maybe the ones inside? I'm guessing the ones inside. I've been wanting to light these things forever and I think you can finally do it. Maybe. Said you could. <laughs> Hello? There's coal in there now. There wasn't anything in there before. How do I light these damn things? Am I doing something wrong? Probably. I don't see any prompt though. Oh well. Probably missing something completely. Let me know if I'm doing something wrong, because it seems like you should be able to light those with the coal in there and stuff. Very strange. Yeah, whatever. Let's just get down there and blow that door open. Let's see what we can find. Uh, maybe these ones? Well, these are just statues. I don't know. Whatever. Not a big deal. It's supposed to be implementing a new path inside the temple as well, so excited to see that. Oh, this is new. Examine. 
Oh, nice. It must be the sand screw. Terrarium and sand screw. Oh, sweet. Alright, don't know how that works, but we'll try that out. I think it's down this way, right? I don't think you can light any of this crap. Yeah, I don't know if that stuff's just bugged out for me or what, but I can't interact with those with those torches at all. Alright, I almost killed myself last time, so don't want to do that again this time. Uh, place... yes. light this this time. I don't know, whatever. I couldn't get them in there. <laughs> I'm done farting around with that thing. Uh, just give me my damn cedar suit. Yeah. Oh, freaking yeah. Wish I could see something. There's a torch over here, too. I can't light any of this crap. What the hell? Alright, whatever. I couldn't get any of that crap lit. There's the last artifact. Very nice. And the cedar suit. Yeah, hooray. Did it. Wish I could see something in here. <clears throat> Go and put this bad boy on, see what we got. Recharge. Oh, frickin' yeah. This will allow you to go down to the pit as well, down in the sulfur area. Uh, which I only recommend doing that once, because it is a pain in the butt. Oh yeah, double, double tap space bar. Definitely a lot quicker. Wonder if you can use this on the sandboard. Can hurt yourself though. Flying too far off the edge or something, so definitely want to be careful. Now you're technically not Jorge, so I don't really know what your name is, man. Oh, that's such a pain in the butt. Alright, let's, uh, oh yeah. It's definitely expecting that today, so hopefully they're not right on us and we can get a little chance here to get away from them. Put some distance between us. Try to get up to the northwest there and, uh, find the trap blueprint. Hopefully the sandboard's in there too, that'd be pretty sweet. But uh, I'm just going to keep on going, I'll bring you guys back once I, if I run into the worms, or once I get there. Oh nice, I thought I had this already. Better new structure design, that's cool. Let's look and get a blueprint in here. Oh, you got something here. Cloth. I think that's about it. I don't see anything else in here. There's another chest over here. Another chest with nothing in it. Pretty freaking dope though. Got another uh, structure design. Probably for a tower, I'm guessing. I thought I got it already, but apparently not. So it has taken absolute long time to get here. Have not ran into the worms yet, which is uh, kind of strange. But. Right over this hill should be the uh, should be the town, so we should be able to get the uh, trap blueprint and head back to the base. All right, finally freaking made it up here to this town. Took all day to get out here, honestly. So a lot longer of a trek than I remember it being, but we finally made it. Uh, I can't see anything. That probably helps a little bit. Let's see what kind of goodies we got in here. Yeah, no storage on the camel, so that's going to kind of hinder what I can take back and not, so... 
Hopefully we can get lucky and not uh, just find some good things, not so much sticks and crap, but oh. I actually need this guy's poison sack, and I can craft up an antidote. I always like taking antidotes. Just in case, never know I'm going to step on a stupid ass scorpion, so. Got that going for us. Come here, man. Ah! in here. And it is really hard to see. Pretty sure that trap blueprint's here. <laughs> I hope it is. Uh, if it's not here, I don't know where it's at. If I can't see, I know you guys can't see. Try to brighten this up a little bit. So you're able to see something. Well, where's this blueprint at, man? I did run through a sandstorm on the way over here and that cedar suit uh, completely negated the effect so it didn't lose any health or anything from it. Pretty awesome. Makes life a whole lot easier. I almost ran right past this building. There's a scorpion right there. Might as well take it. Come on, blueprint. A bunch of ingots, that's nice. I'll take that. Oh damn, look at all this stuff, man. Cloth, that stuff stackable. And bricks. That's nice. Not a bad haul. You need a lot of clay bricks for this building I have planned out. Not really planned out, but in my brain. Let's see. I had to have run past the building, man. That, that wasn't it. I missed buildings. Vegan. Yeah, I finally got my achievement. I can start eating meat. It's been eight days without protein. Alright, please be in here. Nothing. Is this where I was already? God damn it. I can't tell where I've been. I think I've already been in these. Yeah, I've already been here. I need to go down here. Easy. Nothing. There it is. Hard to examine. Nice. Got the traps. Beautiful. 
I don't think there's anything else here. I'm thirsty. I think that was the last building. Yeah, not too bad of a haul, man. Alright, hopefully it's morning time by the time I get back and, uh... I'll go back and we'll make up some weapons and all that good stuff. I don't know where the sandboard would be. Probably got the backtrack, I'm guessing. And try to find it, unless this is in one of the towers. Probably check the towers on the way back, see if it's there. If not, I'll just have to go around at my own and see what I can find. So I'm going to head back to base, and I'll bring you guys back first thing in the morning. It is the next morning. Finally made it back here. It took all friggin' night. I can't believe it was uh, it actually let me sleep because it was uh, the sun was actually coming up. So early, rested up. We're gonna go ahead and see what we have here. Actually, first, I think we need. What do we got for the sand screw? I really don't know how this thing works. Ingot leather log. We should have all that. And then uh, I think we have the terrarium as well, right? Terrarium, three clay bricks. Two planks and two stones, not too bad. Pretty easy materials to get, so probably just make one to see what it looks like. And uh, we got double beds and a fireplace. I didn't even see all that stuff. That's cool. We're gonna go ahead and make up the axe and the pick and all that good stuff. Uh, the stuff we can make right now. I should have plenty of plenty of ore and ingot and leather and all that crap. So I'm gonna go ahead and craft this stuff up. Hopefully the durability, I don't remember how long they lasted last time, but I don't think I broke one once, so. Last quite a while. Make one of those, make a pick. Then we need a log for that sand screw. I want to try that out and see, see what it is and how it works. I don't know how to catch the beetles, but we're going to find out, so. I can make a... I can make a saddle for my guy. Then I can make the sunshade as well. I need more cloth. Sweet. Got my axe. Got my pick. Beautiful. Go ahead and throw this crap in the water. Pretty freaking sweet. Hell yeah. Alright, let's see what that sand screw is all about. Six. Maybe just place it anywhere. Okay. Then what? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this thing? Uh, just to dig randomly or something? I don't freaking know. I'm guessing you just take it to random spots and dig. Maybe you'll find a beetle. I don't know if there's actual spots to find these bugs or not, or if it's just random. We'll find out. I'll mess around with it and see what, see what happens. What else do we have here? We got our pick, we got our axe, we got our sand screw. What do we mean for the terrarium? Uh, let's see here. Clay bricks, planks, and stone. I'm mm, not sure if I have the stone. I think I made. Yeah, I think I made uh, made spears. I may have one around here. I think it's clay though. That's clay. I think these are both clay here. I don't think I'm gonna find it. I find some on the ground, that'd be sweet. Yeah, no stone at all. That's unfortunate. Oh yeah, five. I think it was eight before. That's freaking fantastic. Amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and knock this one out. I wanted to make the terrarium, so I'm gonna go around and find some rocks quick. There's none laying on the ground here, which is kind of disappointing, but uh, it is what it is. I don't really know where there's rocks around here either. Probably have to go to the uh, other oasis over this way. All right, I guess I'm gonna head that way. I'll bring you guys back. All right, finally made it back to base. Go ahead and craft this terrarium up and see what it looks like here. It took me forever, forever to find rock. Had to go to two oasis. Uh, 
Let me just put on my cedar suit. Nice. Doesn't hurt at all. Wonderful. Oh wait. I'm gonna have to put this in here. I can't craft it until can't craft it until I make room. Where to go? Terrarium. I'm missing clay bricks. I already have it in here. Thank God that's over. All right, let's see what this thing looks like here. Pretty sweet little beetle farm. Reminds me of my ant farm growing up, kinda. Except bigger. I really wanna. <laughs> I really wanna know how this thing works, man. It must just be random. Beetle. <laughs> yeah, let me know if I'm doing something wrong with the sand screw, if I need to be doing something else with it, because uh, I don't quite understand it. I'm guessing it's just random, but let me know if it's not, so. I'm gonna go ahead and just put this right here for now. Good enough, good enough. Pretty sweet. Got all of our axe and pick upgrade. I got the cedar suit, which is freaking great. Helps out tremendously, so. Gonna go around and try to find some cloth and stuff, or some hemp, so I can make into cloth in order to get the saddlebag on here, and then carry everything over to the southeast over here where this oasis is at. I'm just gonna set up base there again, so it has everything I need. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty nice base location, the waterfall and everything there. So, super stoked to get started on building all these traps and everything else. So, uh, hope you guys end up enjoying uh, the series and all that stuff. Let me know if you like where it's going, and excited for the up upcoming patch. So, I know I am. Hope you guys end up enjoying the episode. If you did, hit that like button. If you're new here and want to see more of my content, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate y'all watching. It's been real. Till next time.